All right, let's talk about it. Things happen out here on this road and everything can happen in a split second. I pray to God every day for my safety out here because I just don't know when and where it ever is going to happen. You could be doing what you're doing. Everything could be doing as follows. And then just one situation that happens that just turns your whole life around. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Check this out. We're going to go ahead and yep. jump right into it. Miss Sydney Thomas, the Cisco driver that was left hanging over the bridge, the, the Clark Memorial Bridge over the Ohio River in Kentucky. I'm telling you, I said it before and she said it in this interview that God was there for her that day all right she was she said in this interview that she prayed and prayed and prayed and she was one of those individuals that didn't feel like god was going to ever answer any of her prayers but i tell you god may not come when you want him but he's there he's there when you need him and he was there that day in this exclusive interview from WHAS11. That's where we're heading to to go ahead and listen to this uh, interview with this young lady. Guys, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for listening. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the interview. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. This is the closest I've been to it, but since know. since March first, mm -hmm. now I'm starting to you know heal. Sometimes you pray, and I'm guilty of this. Sometimes I pray, and I don't think God is listening. But He was that day. This close, yeah. I don't know. I just uh, it is kind of hard to look at, but I mean, I'm not there. I'm here. It happened, and it happened so fast. A pickup truck in the two southbound lanes. He crossed over into the northbound lane and then he hit me. And once he hit me, he took my suspension out, which meant that I can't, it didn't matter which way I turned the wheel. The truck was going to go whatever direction it wanted to go in. I felt myself veering off to the left and then I saw myself going over the railing and I was like, well, this is it. Right. I did. Well, not, not immediately after the impact, but I say like two seconds later, I held on to the wheel. And once he hit, I could, cause I couldn't swerve into the other lane. You know, I, they, that's what they tell you when you learn how to drive a truck. You just keep going straight, it don't matter. Because if you go in the turn off, you can make it worse than if you just take it head on. And so I did that. When I went through the rail and I was like, I, I was just thinking like, wow, this is crazy <laughs> to die like this, you know? And I really thought that I was about to die. And I was like, well, I can try to hurry up and take the seatbelt off and jump out of the truck if I have enough time to. I, when I felt myself going over, I'm like, I'm gonna have to jump. I can't swim either. I didn't know how bad it was. I thought that the trailer was still on the bridge. I didn't know that it was like this. When it caught the bridge, I just, I froze. But I was thinking of an exit plan, if it was even possible. If it starts going, you're gonna have to move fast. You're gonna have to unbuckle that seatbelt and open that door and jump out. Cause if not, you're gonna drown. I would rather drown trying to swim than be submerged underneath the water and not be able to get out. And I just looked up and I saw people coming towards, you know, the, the railing and they was, you know, talking to me. And it was one man, he, he stayed with me the whole time and talked to me until the firefighters came. It's like sitting like this, but the river is right in front of you. And that's, that's what I saw. I have to be still, because if I move an inch, the truck might shift and fall over. And I started praying and, you know, I kept asking the person I was talking to, you know, how long is it gonna be? Are they are they on the way? And he kept saying, they on the way, they coming, they coming. Amen. I had my hand on the steering wheel, gripped on it. And I just was trying to, you know, I had my foot on the, on the brake too. And I sat like that for a long time. 40 minutes? Yep. I was trying to just 
stay calm and just hope and pray that they will be able to get me out because I didn't think they would be able to. I guess so. I guess if, you know, they call it, I guess they thought that I was going to be fidgeting around in the truck. And I'm like, no. I was like, I can't believe this, that I'm really hanging over the river. And I was in shock. I was like, this is crazy. You know, he was like, are you a praying woman? And I was like, yep. And we just, we just started praying. I got what I prayed for and somebody came and got me out of the truck. We were praying, you know, just to get back on the ground and out of harm's way. He was trying to make sure I stayed calm and I didn't start doing anything that could compromise our safety. We was telling me, you know, just one, it's, it's only gonna be a little bit longer, you know. He pulled me through the window. They lowered him down, he gave me the harness. I put the harness on, but I still had my seatbelt on. So he had to cut me out of my seatbelt. I knew I wasn't gonna fall out, but it was just terrifying to be that high up in the air and look down and all you see is, is the Ohio River. It was hard. So I tried to keep my head up and not look down. I just kept crying out to God, you know, please Lord, just give me another chance. One of the first things I said to them when I got on the bridge was, did anybody die? Even me knowing that this wasn't my fault, I still don't want that on my mind that somebody, I was involved in an accident where somebody passed away. He is a really kind person and very and brave. I wouldn't have been able to go rappel down off of a bridge and get, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm, I, am, I admire him a lot and you know, I appreciate him. Him and his wife are very kind people. As long as it ain't that one, I can, I, as long as I got enough lanes to move around in and I'm not limited to, to two very narrow lanes, you know, I, as long as I get across, I'm good. I have my moments, but God has me here for a reason and I have to fulfill my purpose. I can't let something like that stop me from doing what I'm supposed to do for him because he brought me out of it, you know? And he, he doesn't want me to just live in fear the rest of my life. And I, I know that. Yeah, don't make